Last one. Yeah. Will President Biden publicly address Lake and Riley's murder, allegedly at the hands of an illegal immigrant who was released by law enforcement multiple times on Thursday night? I know he's got a statement, but what about at the State of the Union? Look, let me, I, I do want, this is such a tragic uh, story and uh, obviously situation. Um, <clears throat> this is someone's life that was lost. So I do want to always acknowledge and extend our deepest condolences uh, to, to her family and to her friends and the people who, who loved her. And so want to always be sure to say that and uh, because it's so tragic. Uh, look, um, I don't have anything to share about the president's speech as it relates to that particular question that you have. Uh, but we, you know, we want to always, uh, always be sure that we left, lift up the families who have lost their loved ones in that way. And I would reiterate, you just asked me um, about the Border Patrol uh, chief. The president was just there with the current chief, uh, Owens. The president went to uh, the border, obviously, Bronville's, Texas, to lift up the importance of doing something, of doing something at the border. And I would be remiss if I did not continue to say that Republicans rejected a bipartisan proposal that came out of the Senate. And so if they truly, truly cared about what was going on at the border, if they truly cared about this immigration policies and trying to fix that, trying to move forward in a step in a way where we have a tough and fair uh, law, they would work with us on it. They wouldn't listen to the former president who is clearly telling them to reject, telling Republicans to reject it for their for his own political gain. And that's shameful. That's truly shameful. The tragic murder of Lack and Riley evokes profound emotions among individuals and communities necessitating direct action from leaders like Joe Biden to address public safety concerns. Peter Ducey's inquiry urges Biden to take responsibility and adopt clear stances on immigration policy, law enforcement, and border security. Tragic events like Riley's murder amplify social anxieties and highlight the importance of thoughtful approaches to immigration policies. Criticism of Karine Jean-Pierre's response underscores the need for direct and empathetic dialogue in discussing such tragedies. Addressing concerns raised by Ducey is crucial for fostering trust and understanding in public discourse. Evaluating Jean-Pierre's response involves examining policy discussions and the interconnectedness of issues to find meaningful solutions. Tackling root causes like immigration policy and border security is vital for creating a more just and compassionate society.